disgusting and horrific and unbelievable, just incomprehensible. Karen Stanko and her husband Mike live nearby and still can't believe the continuing 24-hour-a-day police presence on First Avenue in Massapequa Park at the home of accused Gilgo Beach killer Rex Hurman. Neighbor Nicholas Furchaw says he knows Hurman and never trusted him. I thought Rex was a very uh, creepy guy. I think he stood out in the neighborhood and um, you know, as soon as we moved here, uh, we made a joke saying, you know, look at this guy, he must be a serial killer or something. And, you know, it's sad that it turned out to be true. This is the Suffolk County Crime Laboratory in Hopog, where literally mounds of evidence seized in Hurman's home, his storage units, and from his Chevy Avalanche are being analyzed. Suffolk Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison, after getting an update from detectives removing evidence from the house, says that the neighborhood's virtual lockdown will finally come to an end this coming week. We're working uh, together with all of our law enforcement partners. Um, I anticipate that uh, we should be wrapped up uh, sometime next week. The mayor of the incorporated village of Massapequa Park, Daniel Pearl, says residents will certainly be glad to get their neighborhood back. When this finally clears out, um, you know, the village will do everything that we can to try to give you back the peace that, that you had before all this happened. A lot of manpower here. Uh, working with all of our agencies will help us uh, hopefully get Massapequa Park, give them back the neighborhood sooner than later. And that, say neighbors, is very welcome news. In Massapequa Park, Drew Scott for Newsday TV.